Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do an import into Airtable using EasyCSV. So we're going to start here with a pretty simple Airtable uh, base. It's just a grid view a table. You're going to see it's just got four columns, name, notes, status. It has one row. It's, it's good to have one row because you want that example data because that's how we will uh, match up um, CSV columns to your Airtable columns in a little bit. So make sure there's at least one row in your um, uh, base table. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to add another row or however many rows you want to this table. We're just going to do one in this example um, using easy CSV. So let's say you have a CSV file that you just want to um, have maybe your employee or someone on your team upload or maybe one of your users. You want them to have an upload page for CSV files. Easy CSV lets you just drag and drop a file. You can also search for a Google Sheet to push into your table. You can also um, automate some of that. You can either send a CSV file as a URL, as a post request into your easy CSV import page, and that will auto import into Airtable. Or you can set up a scheduled job to go grab CSV files from like FTP or Dropbox or Google Drive um, or Amazon S3 and have that auto imported into Airtable. So there's a lot of ways to automate or drag and drop files that you want to get into Airtable with easy CSV. So to set up Easy CSV, we're actually going to download an, a CSV file of this table. That helps us give us just you know the the general uh, structure of your base, your Airtable. So download the CSV, um, which I have right here already, and then you're going to go over to Easy CSV and you're going to make a new import page. And all you do is you drag that example file you downloaded right into the setup. We're going to name this whatever you want. And you're going to see it's got the three columns we care about. We're not going to care about attachments. Um, Airtable lets you push data that's more string-based or text-based into it. So we're going to say next. We're going to say we want to push the data to Airtable. And we've set up the import page. So this import page is where you can drag and drop the file or set up a scheduled job, the scheduled fetcher. Um, you can also email CSV files to a custom email address you'll get when this is done being set up. Um, there's plenty of ways to get CSVs from wherever they are into Airtable automatically using Easy CSV. So the one thing we have to do is hook up Easy CSV to that Airtable base. So you can either click Enter Airtable Info or click Sheet Details. So we're going to click Enter Airtable Info. And you'll see Airtable selected as the integration. And we're going to need to enter three things. Your API auth token, the Airtable base ID of where you want to go, and the Airtable name, uh, table name on that base. Um, we give directions on how to do that, but I'm also going to walk through it. So I'm just going to go grab my API token by um, clicking here. So I grab my token. So now I'm going to follow these directions. Airtable is unique in that you can go to this page, Airtable APIs, and Airtable makes an API for every single one of your workspaces. So it's, pre it's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. We're going to click on the one we care about, which is this, and you're gonna, they're going to make documentation as an API for that individual base with many tables here. So the idea of the base is right here. So you can copy that, paste it right here. You can also click on the table name over here on the left. I like to click on create records because that will be that's what we'll be doing. And you can see the app ID here. You can copy it from there as well. They're the same. Um, and you'll see that we kind of give directions of clicking on create and then look here on the right. And this is the URL we're paying attention to. So it has that name. But then we also need to grab the table name. So this is the name of the table, right? Max's contacts. Max's contacts. We'll copy that, paste it here. We, we give a nice button that you can just test to make sure these three things are correct, right? OK, success. We have them right. So maybe you typed your base name wrong. Click this button, you get an error, and it's the error that Airtable sends back. So you want to make sure that you test to make sure it's good. Then you're going to click Save. So now uh, Airtable is connected to Easy CSV. What we still have to do is say, okay, the CSVs I'm importing, those columns map to, you know, these columns of this table. Maybe the CSV has the column name for notes is actually like details or um, extra info, and you want extra info to go into the notes column. That is the step we're doing here, where we're going to map the CSV columns. In my case, the CSV columns are the same name. You might have different named columns. 
So you can put name goes to name, status goes to status, and notes goes to notes. Now, you may have like a more complicated uh, table, and you might not see all the fields here. Easy CSV displays the fields that you are allowed to push via the API into your base. You can't push every field through the API because some have relations, right? Like if you have a if you have many uh, tables here or many bases, sometimes you have like data from one tab in another tab. That stuff you can't push. Airtable just doesn't let you. It lets you push very simple um, string or text-based data into the um, base. And Easy CSV does some logic to only display the right ones. So we won't display things that are like arrays or um, relationship fields or anything like that. So that's if you if you're not seeing some of those tables, you know that's that's usually why. So now actually it's ready to go. So we can take a CSV file that we have and just import it. So let's do that. So we're gonna drag this here. We're gonna click test and validate, and we're gonna import it only as one record. You'll see it finished. Cool, you can import another file if you want. Go over here, and we have the extra row in here. You'll notice this is kind of string based. It's an it's a option, but as long as you pass the exact same string, it'll pick the right option for you. Um, and that's it. That's pretty easy. If you want to set up, you know, ways to go get files on a schedule, you can do that with a scheduled fetcher, and you can go to these other services. Um, if you want to, you know, maybe you have a report thing, you get a custom email address to. Uh, send things to so you can send emails to this with attached CSVs and they'll auto import. Um, you can uh, enable posting to a webhook so if you can you can just write a post request and follow the docs here and send uh, CSV files in but there's many ways including uh, dragging and dropping on this page, emailing, uh, scheduling a fetch of a file or um, posting via API. Uh, you can also send it in via Zapier, too. Um, but good luck, and please contact support if you need any help. Thanks.